Hey y'all, my name is Bree and welcome to my channel So Breezy. So if you're new to my channel, I mainly focus on affordable fashion and lifestyle related videos. I have some really exciting news for me personally in my personal life. So I am moving out and I'm buying a house. So today is August 10th and I'm scheduled to close on my new house on August 15th. So just a little backstory of how I got here. So I graduated at Spelman College in 2020 and you know obviously that's when the pandemic hit. You know people weren't really hiring for jobs. Um, there was definitely like you know some fear in what COVID is and what that means for companies if they're gonna lose money and whatnot. So people really weren't hiring so you know that means for everyone in the class of 2020 jobs were scarce and there was literally there was literally nothing out there really unless you already had a job offer um prior to prior to 2020. so i was in that predicament um i had a job at the cheesecake factory ever since i was a sophomore in college and i stayed at that job until september of that year so anyways because i didn't have like a full-time job lined up i decided to move in with my aunt um just so you know to save up some money because literally i all i had was cheesecake factory money and then i was also doing instacart to make up some more money for you know living purposes so yeah i did not get my own apartment after i graduated from college i moved in with my aunt and i have a room here in my aunt's house so if you watch any of my videos you would see that i try to film in different parts of my room um, for like my fashion videos but it became a point where i literally had nowhere else to go in my room Partly because I just have a lot of stuff and there's not that much room for, well there's a lot of room in here actually, the room is pretty big, it's just I have a lot of stuff so. Yeah I got to a point where it was just becoming cramped and I feel like I just needed my own space so that's when I thought about moving out. So I thought about moving out back in um, about May or April of this year of 2022 and I decided I'm gonna move out by fall of this year. I started to look at like apartments and different places for me to live and you know see what I can afford and you know get the ball rolling on me moving out. So then June actually comes around and my mom actually proposed that me and her go in and buy a house together but ultimately we started the process so I got in contact with a realtor um, based here in Atlanta and we started looking at houses and we started to try to get pre-approved for a loan for the mortgage and we got pre-approved for three different mortgage companies and ultimately went with one of those so yeah in total i saw about 10 houses over the course of two weeks all of them were townhouses and they were all three bedroom two baths um so i didn't really want to move into a full-on house i thought that'd be a little bit too much for me personally as someone who was just a new homeowner and especially as someone who is literally moving out of someone else's house has been living you know with people for two years so a townhouse was perfect for me and ultimately you know we found one we made an offer and we are closing in about five days from now this video i'm going to be showing y'all all the houses that i toured so i have a few clips from each of the houses i don't have exactly the same amount of clips for each house and some of them wasn't able to show the complete house but i'm going to show you as much as i can in these clips that's a little backstory of what's going on in my life right now how i'm feeling i'm feeling so good i'm feeling so excited i'm literally so excited to be moving in in my own house I cannot wait to do like vlogs and like decorating and you know cooking with y'all and just showing y'all the process of me moving in and unpacking and all that good stuff so so I've been watching like YouTube probably since I was like 12 years old um like vlogs and stuff and different things like tutorials but I think since the pandemic like more lifestyle aesthetically pleasing type videos have surfaced YouTube and I'm really here for it like I really love seeing like people you know film their aesthetic coffee making and like cooking and you know those nighttime routines and Sunday resets and I'm so excited to be able to do those things you know from my perspective so I can't wait to show y'all all of those things I can't wait to share this journey with y'all. So this is going to be a new series on my channel that I'm going to be starting, starting with this vlog. So it's going to be a house buying, pretty much like a house buying series, but also this little segment of the series is going to be um, like a moving series. So this video in particular is all the house hunting. And then the next video, I'm going to show y'all me packing my entire room, which I'm actually simultaneously doing right now. Probably about 80% done. So you're going to see that after this video. I'm really not sure when either of these videos are going to go up because it's kind of hard to pack and edit at the same time. So I'm going to try my best to get those videos up in a timely manner. Um, but yeah, just bear with me because there's a lot going on over 
over here so i'm really trying so one other thing i forgot to mention is um i plan on making like a full sit down video of my process of my home buying process giving you all the details you might need to know um, about someone who's buying a house for the first time i'm going to give you all a timeline of when i first started looking at houses up until you know my closing date on monday so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing that kind of video please let me know in the comments um, I'd love to make that video. I plan on doing it anyways, but it would be nice to know if people are actually interested in it. So yeah, just let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And yeah, stay tuned for that video a few weeks down the road. So this was the very first house that I saw. And this was definitely the best house that I saw out of all the houses. Um, it's, it was literally perfect. It was a new construction, so no one had ever lived in these houses before. And as you can see, um, it's very modern and sleek. The design is very nice. All of the doors were this dark gray color and all of the hardware was like black. So it was very modern for sure. And then the bathroom, the master bathroom by far was the best part about this house. Like just, just look at the bathroom. So sleek, so modern and look at these gold sinks. And marble floors and the shower right here, definitely a showstopper like the bathroom itself was what got me sold on this house but unfortunately the builders of this house were made for a program where you have to have a max income in order to qualify to buy the house and so you can't go over that max and unfortunately that was the case otherwise i definitely would have got that house So this is the second house here and I was actually very disappointed in this house like on camera it looks like you know a decent three bedroom two bath townhouse but when we got there the house was just dirty and very not taken care of like you can tell a little bit from this room. It was just a mess like why would you show this house you know to people who are trying to buy the house when it's not clean so didn't go with this one and I'm definitely glad that I didn't so I don't have that many clips for this next house but as you can see from this very first clip that there was a line for the open house already when we got there we got there right on time and there was already a line so this house was cool um, but the house literally went under contract the same day because of the asking price it was like really low and for the quality of the house it was very very reasonable so this house went very quickly Now this next house I definitely wanted to love. I really like the curb appeal of this house. Very cute, cozy vibes. Love this kitchen. It's a very huge space for the townhouse. I love the dark cabinets. But what really confused me was this living room space like it was very awkward and small also didn't really care for this backyard how it had like all this dirt but that could be easily fixed with like some turf or like fake grass whatever this master bathroom was also very small for it to be like a master bathroom like I just felt like it could use some more space And I think this was the master closet as well. So just really small.
And then another thing that confused me was this really weird shaped room right here. So that little nook by the window could easily be used as like a desk area, but I think I just prefer a regular size room. But overall, you know, the location was great. It was in Decatur, which is where I definitely wanted to live in the first place. But the house was just weird. It was just weird spaces all around. And it just wasn't for me. So this next house here, I really loved as well. I actually put, well, I was going to put an offer in on this house, but they didn't accept a certain kind of loan. Um, but as you can see, this house is really big. It has a two car garage. That kitchen was really big. The room sizes were fairly decent. I didn't really care for this countertop and counter combination. I thought that it was kind of weird. It didn't really seem like it went well to me but it wasn't like a huge deal breaker or anything. I did really like this master bathroom though because of the natural lighting and how big it was. I thought that it was just a really nice, well-spaced bathroom. And also that closet was huge so this house here was another favorite I actually was also going to put an offer into this house but decided not to I really like that bathroom and how it's spacious and has you know the two sinks and a shower and a tub The room sizes were pretty standard. They're very similar to, you know, average townhouses. But what I really liked was the downstairs, the living room space, as well as this really nice grand kitchen. But I ended up not putting an offer in because I just felt like the asking price was a little bit high for the quality of the home, especially what it looked like on the outside. So this next house I considered very heavily, um, but the only downside is that you saw that kitchen space and this living room. The kitchen only has literally two cabinets and the living room was a very awkward space as well. It was very long, but not wide. So it was just kind of weird and I didn't really feel like I could put like the furniture that I wanted in there. So I really did like this master bedroom and how it like it walks into like a diagonally shaped hallway. Um, I love the natural lighting. Um, the only downside was the bathroom. There was no tub and it was also kind of small. Um, but I just think the bathroom was just a little bit too small for two people. So 
So this right here is the last house and I actually did put an offer into this house but they went with another offer um, but I'm glad that they did because I'm very happy with the current house that I bought. So I'm doing this voiceover currently sitting in my new house but yeah. This house for sure checked all of the boxes um, for everything that I was looking for in the house. Um, it was an end unit and as you can see it has this huge backyard space. Um, all the rooms were very spacious and very well taken care of. And I also really liked how the spare bedrooms, both of them had walk-in closets, which was really nice. The best part was definitely this master bedroom so as you can see it's a huge master bedroom enough space to put a whole couch in this closet was kind of weird and awkward which probably wouldn't would have been an issue later on down the line but either way the room was huge very spacious for sure now the only downfall about this house was also the bathroom this was very small and doesn't have a tub and I just feel like it also doesn't have like a stand-up tub it's a regular like old-school bathtub not anything that's wrong with that but all the houses that I saw were like those modern stand-up tubs so that was just kind of different and so yeah those were all the homes that I saw with the exception of the house that I actually bought so don't worry you're definitely gonna see that house in my home content very soon to come so stay tuned for the packing vlog next <music>